You are my superhero friend, David Zeclair. The main premise is that aging is a disease. I, I not, not many people understand that, or like they're like, oh, what? Like, so yeah, so please kind of break that down. Like, how is aging a disease? Now, there's something that happens to all of us that causes us to get frail, sick, and eventually die. It's heritable, we get it from our parents, it's, it's in every family. It's a, an horrific disease, I call it aging. And so if you consider aging a medical condition, it means your doctor can treat you. Currently they don't, because they don't think of it as anything but natural, therefore acceptable. Uh, it's definitely not acceptable in my view. But also it would lead to the development of treatments and medicines, and your doctor could actually take it seriously. One of the things that bugs me is you go to the doctor and doctor says, well, you're feeling this ache, you've got this pain. And you say, yeah, I'm losing my eyesight. And what does your doctor say? Don't worry about it. It's just the natural course of aging. <laughs> well, WTF, that doesn't mean that it's acceptable. If, if I was going blind in my 20s, would you do something about it? Absolutely. I think aging is definitely a medical condition, if not a disease. And that disease is increasingly preventable and is soon to be highly treatable as well. Because like for me, I live between science fiction and science fact. I'm excited to see people like you that are taking concepts and applying it and pulling it into science fact, pulling into our life. Can we do that? Can we drink from the fountain of youth? Well, a lot of people who visit my lab, they say, uh, this sounds like science fiction, David. You've got control over aging. You can age a mouse forwards accelerate its aging, now you can reverse it. This doesn't even seem real. And then I show them the mice, and then I show them the mini brains where we're controlling that. What do you mean, like, little brains? Oh, well, we, we grow human brains in the lab. They're not that big, but uh, we can age them. We make old brains, we give them dementia, measure their electrical activity, and now we've learned to drive aging backwards in these brains. It is real. This stuff is real. We're looking at reversing the age of the brain and we can make an old mouse's brain young again. And that mouse goes from being very forgetful to being able to learn again. And we're also looking at whether that reverses Alzheimer's disease, which I predict it will. Ultimately, when we get those chemicals, we can actually just have people take a pill to reverse the age of their brain. And hopefully not just prevent dementia, but cure it. I also collaborated with NASA, and what we were trying to do was to solve a problem for the military, which was to kill bioweapons. And we ended up stumbling on an organism that survives in outer space. The bug's called Bacillus, and it was brought back by NASA, um, having been up in space, and it has this special property. And we, we lyse the cells, we open them up, and inside is this special cocktail that's never been seen by science before. And we realized that it's not just protective against radiation, but it has these rejuvenating properties. It activates longevity genes. Wow. So we, we stuck it in a, in a face cream and I've been using it and we did clinical trials and people are raving about the anti-aging effects. What would be certain things that you recommend that people can do to slow down the aging process in general. If there was one thing I could recommend, if there was only one thing I could recommend, it would be to eat less often. Now, I'm not saying eat less. We don't need to lose weight. In fact, that's not the goal. The goal is to compress the time that you eat down to about two or three hours. That's what I try to do. And uh, that has been shown in animals and even in people to be extremely healthy. And a lot of the science points to that being one of the best ways to delay the ticking of the clock, which by the way, happens every day. Our clock is ticking, I can measure it, I can take your, your cheek swab, and I can tell you very precisely how old you are, not by your birthday candles, but by your biological age, and even predict when you're gonna die. It's actually been shown by looking at hundreds of people that were measured over like 50 years, that the, if you just do the top five things, you get another 14 years of life. Don't become obese, don't smoke, have a social life and a purpose in life and a partner uh, or a pet, and then avoid bad food. So ultra processed, high fat, high cholesterol foods. If you just do those things, that gives you 14 years of extra life on average. That's a big deal. And that's just the easy stuff that we know. The world loves science fiction and we want to 
imagine a, a life like this, right? This stuff's happening right here, right now, that blows my mind. You can imagine somebody writes a novel where on the cover of the world's leading science journal that somebody figures out how to reverse aging. And that would be an amazing start to a movie. How cool yeah. would that be? Woo! So that's, that's real. It's actually <laughs> happening. This is not a movie. All right. That's awesome, man. Yeah. yeah. Aging is a disease. We can actually stop it and reverse it. And this is the man that's going to do it. <laughs> I don't know about the last part, but we'll die trying. Yeah. I'll die trying. Uh, every person in the lab, there's 25 of them, is doing something that's considered impossible. And when you put the right people together in a team and give them the resources, really anything is possible.